I've demolished it. So what's left of the core. guys hope you're all well um, I'm just going to a job in Hove I had a call from a lady from an agency that um, has said that a lock needs refitting um, she couldn't give me any more details than that so um, yeah as far as I'm aware a lock just needs refitting so we will see what we we end up with when we get there. So just turned up at a job and um, had a phone call from a lady saying I need to refit a lock. And I've just turned up and come to this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. All right, here we go, guys. So got the old cylinder out. Is there? Where is it? There. They've demolished it. What's left of the core? Uh, yeah. So we've got a new cylinder in there. I'll straighten out the handles as well, and then new front turn again. Straighten out the handles. So that is this one done. I don't know the story behind that job, but I don't know. What, yeah, don't know what's going on there. Um, someone's obviously been there and drilled it. Anyway, all done. Um, it's uh, I think it was like a like a home for like older adults or something. So, um, but yeah, anyway, that's relevant. Uh, that's it for the minute. Um, I'm going to go and do. A, I've got a key extraction booked in. It's not often you get a key, a key extraction booked in. Um, I've got to do that at 4:30 today, and we'll see what else comes in. Right, that's the key extraction done. Um, going to put the picture up um, here somewhere for you to see um, so he said it's been playing up for a little while <clears throat> reluctant for me to change the cylinder again even though you'll see from the picture that it was poking out on the outside by at least 10 mil in fact the, the sacrificial mark was flush with front of the handle so I mean you could say technically but you know, if, if that's where the sacrificial part is, then that's all right. But that wasn't how I was taught to uh, fit cylinders. And that cylinder was only fitted a little while ago by a local company in Brighton that I know. Um, well, I know I know who they are, I know of them. Um, yeah, and charged them 100 quid for fitting the wrong size cylinder, in my opinion. It, wasn't, it was too short at the back, too long at the front. Uh, the, the retaining screw was a bit loose, um, which is what I think was the problem with um, with the door. So, so basically he was saying that every so often he'd go to lock the door and, and, and the key would go really stiff and that's what's happened today, hence why it snapped. Um, so yeah, I think with the, with the cylinder being a bit loose, um, and also didn't have the support of the internal handle because you know if you've got a cylinder in and it's supported by the handle both sides there's less chance of it moving whereas there was there was actual movement in this cylinder um, but yeah like I say he, he just paid recently a hundred pounds to have that sorted and um, he phoned he phoned the company um, that fitted it today to ask them to go back and have a look at it and they've ignored him and not, not returned his call so I think they know don't they anyway uh, that's me I'm going home now I'm gonna do a bit of video editing thanks for watching guys uh, if you don't subscribe please subscribe um, we're nearly at the 500 I think we're gonna make it you know my goal was to be to be fi to have 500 subscribers by March at some time in March and I reckon we can we can do it before March um, so yeah if you don't subscribe please do and then give us uh, give us a thumbs up any nice comments down there 
Cheers, guys. Speak to you soon. Right, we're just popping to a job um, that I come to last week, actually, on Friday. Um, the ladies moved into a, a new property um, just around the corner from where I live, actually. So um, she wants the cylinder changed um, and she wants a high security um, cylinder. So we're going to put a we're putting a high security three star British standard apex cylinder on there. Um, and she also wanted a high security key safe. So um, I don't really fit many key safes to be fair. So I'm not too au okay with them. So I actually, I put a little um, question on one of the locks me forums that I'm part of over in the UK. And um, there was two, there was a Supra and the Burton that most people suggested. Um, and I've gone for the Burton. I've gone for a Burton. Uh, yeah, I've gone for the Burton one. It just seems, I, I know I've decoded the Supra one before on a job. Um, but Turn right. um, I actually um, I actually bought one of these soup uh, one of these Burtons before um, and fitted it. But I, before I fitted it for somebody, I had a go at decoding it, and I couldn't I couldn't decode it. So I thought, well, I'm just going to go with that one. I know that I can decode the other ones, so if I can decode it, possibly someone else. I mean, I'm not saying that no one else can decode the Burtons. I'm pretty sure there's a few people out there that can. In fact, I know there's someone that can, Gav can, and I know that people have done a, a course on them, so. Um, but I don't know the technique to decode these, so I think they're quite high security. They're police approved as well, so. That's what we are fitting today. And then, I'm gonna go to my lockup and I'm going to empty out all the carpentry tools that are in my van. We're here, hey guys. So we're fitting um, this high security key safe for the customer, which is this Burton one. Uh, if I can get it open. Really heavy, actually, really heavy duty. Nice. Uh, so yeah, it comes with a. It sits in this rubber case that screws to the wall like that. And just screw it through there, and then comes over like that. And also fit in this um, three-star apex cylinder, and we're changing this one out, which is a Yale uh, one-star. Right, get done. First things first. Cylinder, we've got a front turn in, make it easier for the customer. So, also, doors just catch up there. So, I'm gonna try and adjust these for the lady, so we can get it working a little bit better. All right, here we go, we've done the adjustments. So, it's now not catching up there, shutting up in the For those that, um, I know this was on the forum the other day, um, but I actually phoned up Apex to find out what the button is. And um, if anybody did attack the cylinder from the front, you're still able to get out using the fun turn by engaging this side with the button. There you go. All right, so we've marked up where we're putting the key safe, so we've centralized it to the pier there. Four holes, get this drilled out and get it fixed on. Oh, that's the four holes drilled. to get into good bits of brickwork. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I've drilled the holes a little bit smaller. So these, that 
I'm going to put you, use these brown plugs. So normally you'd use a number seven bit, but I've used a number six. I'm hoping that that's going to really properly tighten these up. But I'm also going to put a little bit of silicon in the holes and a little bit of silicon on the back, just to help hold it, hold it all as well in case anyone tries to pull it off. You can never be too careful. Right with these Burton uh, key safes, uh, the way you change the code is there's a screw, you see between the eight and three, you take, pop the screw out and then this cover comes off. And then you just turn these, so you can see that it says set off, so if there's a tiny little arrow, I don't, I'm not sure you can pick that up on there, a tiny little arrow on these, and if the arrow's facing up, then that number's not set. If the arrow's facing down, that's the set number. So obviously I'm not gonna show you what it's gonna be, but I'm just gonna set the code now, and then we can get it fitted to the wall. Squashed it a little bit well, I've done it a bit tight, but that'll be all right. What I'll do is just chop them off with a chisel because uh, otherwise the key safe won't sit flat back. silicon on the back of this as well not too much that so squashes out just enough that it uh, helps to hold it a little bit further Just notice a little bit of silicon that's popped out the side of the cone up. But that is pretty good. Right, I'm just gonna shut that. I need to put the code in, shut it, test it, and then uh, tidy up and we're done. There you go, guys. I've cleaned up the silicon down the side. It's this one all fitted. Lovely. I've shown the customer how to use it. She's really happy. And uh, that's tight. Because it needs to be tight to keep it sealed. There we go. And obviously the uh, apex cylinder, three star. Beautiful. Right. We are done. Uh, she was a lovely, lovely lady. Uh, she's uh, an American, and um, she was just saying how nice it was that I gave her a time, and I was there, bang on the time. 
um, which he said that you American guys are the same. If you say some, if you tell somebody a time, you know, you'll pretty much be there on the time. Whereas over here, um, I was quite shocked actually. Um, she said that uh, she spoke to a guy, uh, a guy was supposed to go to her yesterday at nine o'clock in the morning and he turned up at five in the evening. Didn't let her know, he just, uh, yeah. I find that shocking. How can you run a business like that? But anyway, um, that's me. I'm going to go to the lockup. Um, I, uh, I hung a new front door for my mother-in-law yesterday and so my van is chock-a-block full of all those tools. I'm about to get back off my son again. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to need to go and, and get that sorted. Um, and also, one last thing. The reason why I'm sat here doing the video rather than while I'm driving is because um, uh, a guy commented yesterday on my video <clears throat> the guy from South Africa, South Africa. I do apologise. I've, I've, I've forgotten your name. I was trying to remember because he asked for a little shout out. How you doing, buddy? Um, but yeah, he did say, and he's not the only one. I've had a couple of people say that they they um, they find it difficult to hear me sometimes uh, on my videos. So I am looking into getting um, a Bluetooth microphone that, that will work with my iPhone 12. But um, the problem I've got, the one I want to get is 150 quid and I don't know if I, if I can justify spending 150 pound as yet on a, um, on a, a Bluetooth mic. <clears throat> you know, it's, um, still early days for me and we don't know where this, where this channel is going to go. So I don't know if I should be spending that sort of money, but any, anyway, um, I will, I am looking into it, um, and I, I'm going to hopefully get it sorted so you guys can hear me a bit better, um, in the future. Right, lock up. Maybe coffee first. Coffee first. Yeah.